1957, the Webster Forest Nursery was moved from its original location in the Cedar Creek area of Capitol Forest to its current location to aid in state lands reforestation efforts. Since then, Webster has produced over 900 million seedlings. My name is Brian Morris, Webster Program Manager. Hi, my name is Kyla Benj. I'm the Assistant Program Manager here at Webster Nursery. We have both bare root and greenhouse production here on site. We use a combination of science, growing history, stock type, and what kind of trees they need to meet their reforestation needs. So right now we're doing field prep on a field we're going to plant a spring transplant 1-1 one, one crop in. Webster Nursery produces both two-year and one-year trees for outplanting. Douglas fir seed is sown directly into the field and grown for one year in a seed bed. The mixed species are sown in the greenhouse and grown for one year in a styro block. Both these field and greenhouse transplants are lifted, packed, and freezer stored until the next growing season. The seedlings are planted into field beds and grown for a second year before they are ready to be shipped out for planting in the woods. The greenhouses are also utilized to grow larger plug trees in one season that are packed and sent out to the woods for planting. Here at Webster Nursery Greenhouses, we use state-of-the-art climate control to monitor the environment of our greenhouses 24-7. Uh, when they're small and germinating like this, they're very delicate. We control all aspects from the humidity, the temperature, the light, the heat, everything that the plants need to grow, we set up those parameters and then these control panels and our master computer make sure that the programs are carried out. Every pallet has a tag on it and that pallet tells us who the customer is, what year it was sown, and then a numeric identifier so we can track what seed was used, where that tree was grown, and we can trace back everything that was done to each individual tree in one of these bags. And to think about the kind of the scale of what we have going on in here. Each of these bags has about 120 trees in it. Some of our other bags with other stock types will have anywhere from about 100 trees to up to 300 trees uh, per bag or box. And so as we look through this cooler and at the scale of what we have going on, um, it's a lot of trees. And again, if you think of you know, 100 trees per bag, on this pallet we have two acres worth of trees. And so this will go out, this pallet will go out, shipped out to customer out plant. And again, about two to three acres per pallet. And there's a lot of pallets in here. We grow about eight and a half, nine million trees a year. They could shipped out all over Washington and even a few down into Oregon to reforest state trust lands, uh, municipalities, and to private landowners. Hi, my name is Nabil Kaduri. I'm the nursery scientist here at Washington DNR's Webster Forest Nursery. All the trials that I do involve seed use efficiency, improving seedling quality, because that invariably ties back to saving money in our operations. Standing here in the greenhouses doing some seed trials, trying to narrow the germination window, that is speed up the rate at which seedlings come up so that a lot of them come up at the same time, close together. Uh, this is a time during seedling germination where seedlings are very prone to pest attack and things that can go downhill. So we try to shorten that window um, as much as possible. Also, it costs a lot of money to heat greenhouses. And so the sooner you can get the trees up, the sooner you can dial a little bit back on the heat for germination, the more money you save, the more uniform the crop is going to be down the line. You know, working at Webster Nursery, is, it's a really interesting combination of you know, working with state government as a state employee, but a combination of agriculture and natural resources um, and public service that I think is pretty, it's pretty unique and pretty interesting. Seeing, you know, the trees we grow here go out into the woods uh, to be the next generation of forests, I think is a pretty interesting deal and it's something I'm really happy to be part of. One of the things that I found really impressive while working at Webster Nursery is the passion of the staff. Um, over the years I've bounced around and worked in quite a few different areas and I have never met a group of people as passionate as the staff at Webster Nursery are about, about their jobs and about uh, growing trees for the people of Washington. 